Yo, what is good? Lazy Ships, Lazy, whatever you want to call me. I'm back here with a, I'll say another vlog for you guys. Hoping that you're having an awesome day. If not, I hope it gets better. And let's get right into this. We hopped on here just to say, I don't know, welcome to March. You know, welcome to the spring weather. Welcome to this like liveliness. Everyone's, you know, in their fields or everyone's hopefully are getting into the bag getting towards their dreams getting towards what they really want to do in life if not you have plenty of time to do so it's still beginning still early in the year third month of the year so forth but before we start anything or actually just talking or discussing we're getting right into a smoke session discuss it's just like i don't know it's been a crazy change lately coming in 2020 we've been introduced with this new plague this coronavirus situation and honestly shout out or really not shout out but i really want to reach out for those who have been affected the families uh friends who that have been affected by the virus itself it's getting way crazy out of hand and i'm hoping nothing but the best and hoping that you heal um really hope there is a vaccine that comes along or something that gets people back in the right mind but how do you guys actually feel about what's been going on lately we're going to the next pres presidential election which hopefully someone that's going to look out for the country itself i don't know it's just a few things it's just it's it's so many things are really just going on and it feels like me personally like it's just it's too early We've lost a lot of people early in the year, and even last month itself. And to me personally, it feels like, I don't know, everyone's chasing after time now. We just feel like we don't have enough time or time throughout the day. And I think it just goes along with us like growing up as individuals and growing up as people itself. But what really I wanted to direct towards, like when it comes with time, uh, have you guys made time to reach out to your friends, family, those that, your loved ones that you haven't talked to in over a year or two, three or four, you know, those that you only see during reunions, holidays, have you really taken the time to cherish the moments with them because you never know what may happen or uh, what the future has, uh, has pretty much for anyone. We can't tell the future. We can only try to make precautions, you know, do things that we can and hopefully be there for, you know, friends, loved ones and so forth. And when that time does come, when they leave us, not necessarily deceasing or just, you know, people, it's time to move on with their lives. Uh, everyone or me personally, I've had the feelings of necessarily regret. And that's that's worse feeling than like lying to someone that you love parent and so forth and it they were lies but initially the feeling of you wish you could have said something or wish you could have said the right thing or been there for them when that time did come and the time comes and it went i wanted to seem to really just say that i'm hoping that if you had any bad uh situations that have come across or bad interactions with friends you came into disagreements or you just didn't meet eye to eye with situations i really want or really hoping that you can you can solve with each other and really just talk because a lot of people people we don't really take the time to talk to each other we want to enjoy the good times you know when the next party event so far goes along and then when it comes and it goes and you don't see them all over again for countless months weeks and so forth 
It's always that feeling that if something did happen, he was like, oh, I wish I could have said this with them or I wish I could have spent more time with them. I really wanted to say just like take that time, take the opportunity now. Those emotions, these feelings, these thoughts, like if you have someone that came to mind, just had a random reach out to them, talk to them, call them, text them, so forth. Hopefully they didn't change their number. But as long as it wasn't too severe, you know, blocking, or just like it just didn't, it, it boiled down to just needing for everyone to separate, to reach out to someone. You don't want to have that feeling of wishing that you could have done something or wish you could have said something that could change their entire life uh, or initially their perspective. Don't be afraid to throw away that pride or just, you know, not necessarily give in to people's will, but be there for people. You know, stop feeling that you're owed something. No one's owed anything. Everyone's wishing and hoping the same thing in life. Probably love, understanding, and communication. And one thing people really value is trust. So, I don't want to be here on too long. I got some skating to do. Really just enjoying this beautiful, beautiful Sunday or whenever day you guys are actually seeing this. Shout out to Amethyst and all that fun. Rose courts, everything, besides the point. Uh, I just want to spread some positivity. I'm hoping that everyone's really just, just let go of that pride and really be there for people and reach out to your loved ones, spend more time with them, talk to them. Even though that like, you feel like you know them, there's some things that they keep dear to themselves or keep from you and they have their own reasons, but you know, talk to them. Everyone's really just missing out on an opportunity that is the worst fear when someone leaves your sight and you can never say anything bad to them you can't ever reach out back to them when they're gone so i want to leave it on a positive note i want you all to drink some water uh make sure you drink the water because a lot of us are lacking in that you know keeps the skin clear and probably stress free and ph balance and all that alkaline water highly digested uh, but for the most part, hoping you're having an awesome day. Um, lazy chips, lazy, whatever you guys want to call. I'm just gonna call myself lazy because it's probably easier for a lot of people to, you know, connect with that. You know, you're lazy. I'm lazy. Someone that you know is lazy. You know, your boss is probably lazy. I don't know, but you want to change people's perspective. And leave this on this note. Let go of pride. It's it is our work my next video. Peace, love, be like